uh, today's session uh, uh, we are focusing on how uh, we can able to uh, give the interpretation for the comparative balance sheet so last class uh, we had a discussion regarding different tools that we can adopt for the um, uh, financial statement analysis so we had a discussion regarding comparative statements comparative uh, uh, in that comparative balance sheet and the comparative income statement then uh, we had a discussion regarding common size statements and also uh, regarding the trend analysis so today uh, session we will be focusing on so after the preparation of comparative balance sheet how we can able to uh, give the interpretation for uh, for that particular comparative balance sheet so uh, with the help of comparative balance sheet uh, in a different way we can able to analyze the financial performance of the company so we can able to analyze the company short term operational efficiency of the organization the short term liquidity of the organization so long term solvency position that means the ability of the company to uh, set off the long term obligations and whether the company is earning the profit or not so like that in a different area we can able to interpret uh, with the help of uh, comparative balance sheet so dear students i have listed out some of the item which you have to be focus or which you have to be consider so for giving a proper interpretation for the comparative balance sheet the first item what you have to see that is current asset and uh, current liabilities for the current year and the previous year so looking at the current asset and the current liability for the current the current year and the previous year you can able to calculate the working capital so based on the working capital position of the organization we can able to give a proper comment on the financial position current financial position or the short term financial position of an organization so we have to see whether uh, working capital is increased or decreased compared to the previous year so that is the first uh, component you have to observe after the preparation of the uh, comparative balance sheet so after that uh, dear students looking at the liquid asset liquid asset means easily we can able to convert into cash cash at bank or cash in hand and uh, um, short term investment so we have to compare the liquid asset for the current year with the previous year so looking at that uh, so we can able to analyze uh, the liquidity position of the organization the ability of the company to meet the short term obligations so if compared to the previous year if there is any increase in the uh, liquid asset that means the company's uh, uh, liquidity position is increased and uh, so like that we can able to give a proper interpretation for that and uh, coming to the next to one looking at the inventory that is the closing stock so um, we have to compare the closing stock for the current year and the previous year so and compared to the previous year if the stock value is very huge or uh, com compared to the previous year that means so what you have to understand there is a decrease in the demand of the product so that is lying on the go down that means the company is not able to sell to the customers that is the reason the closing stock value is increasing or else we can able to uh, mention that inadequate sales promotion effort of the company so that is another important uh, aspects you have to be consider coming to the next one uh, looking at the uh, fixed asset especially the plant and machinery uh, so we, we have to see the value of plant and machinery so uh, looking at the current year uh, so and the previous year if any increasing uh, increase in the value of fixed asset or plant and machinery so what kind of interpretation we can give so we can able to mention that uh, so maybe the company production capacity has been increased compared to the previous year so that is the main reason uh, that uh, there is an increasing in the plant and machinery value compared to the previous year so like that you can able to give a proper justification for that and another important uh, uh, important concept you have to understand uh, dear students if uh, company uh, should finance the fixed asset through the long term fund so that means if the company is purchasing the fixed asset it should be financed through either equity shareholders fund or it should be through other long term fund most of the company so they will be having a tendency that short term uh, liabilities uh, short term fund they are using for purchasing the fixed asset that is not a good sign for the company uh, 
it's not a good sign for the solvency position of the company so that means another important point you have to make sure that if the company is purchasing if any increasing in the fixed asset make sure that simultaneously so there is an increase in the shareholders fund or the long term fund so that means the company should uh, source the uh, fund through a uh, source to the uh, fixed asset through the um, shareholders fund or other long term fund that is another important things you have to see and looking at the uh, retained earnings or profit and loss account or the reserve and surplus of the organization so we can able to analyze whether the company's earning capacity is increased or not so that is the another important uh, things you have to be uh, understand so compared to the previous year if this uh, retained earnings and the profit and loss account and uh, other aspects so that is uh, reserve and surplus if it is increased that means the company is earning the profit and uh, company is in a comfortable uh, comfortable manner okay so dear student these are the some of the parameters you have to be consider while give, uh, while uh, interpreting the comparative balance sheet and after that finally uh, you have to uh, give a concluding words about the overall financial position of the particular organization so that uh, we can able to mention that uh, so uh, uh, appropriate way uh, we can able to interpret the comparative balance sheet so dear students uh, the next class uh, we will be discussing uh, some of the important uh, um, questions pertaining to uh, comparative balance sheet so and also uh, we will be taking some kind of examples uh, from the money control website so we will be extracting the balance sheet of the uh, various companies listed in the stock market we will be taking and uh, we will be analyzing so this interpretation guidelines will help you more uh, while doing the problem thank you so much dear students uh, we will be uh, meeting in the uh, upcoming classes thank you